Hip replacement's been around since the 1970s, and the typical answer 25, 30 years ago was that a hip replacement should last 10 to 15 years, and then some of them come loose and we have to redo them. We found out over time that the, the weak spot, the thing that made hips fail, was the plastic. We had a metal on plastic surface, and if the plastic started to break down, it gives off a million little particles of plastic, and the body doesn't like that. 15, 17 years ago, orthopedic surgeons and scientists started to figure this out, and they've come up with many different ways of improving the plastics, and the plastics are now much more durable. They're cross-linked, so the plastic doesn't wear down, doesn't break down into these tiny particles, and we think 25 to 30 years is now very reasonable or very something we can expect for a hip to last because the plastic isn't wearing out at the same rate. Ultimately, the plastic will wear out. When the plastic wears out, you can just change the plastic. So you don't have to change out all your titanium parts. Generally, you would remove the head or the ball and take out the plastic, put in a new plastic, new ball, put it back together. So you don't have to replace the whole thing. And that's what young people will ask, you know, people in their 40s and 50s will say, geez, you know, I should wait till I'm 65 or 70, that way I, this will be the only surgery I ever have. And that's true, but at the same time, if you're so miserable, you can't walk, you can't exercise, you can't sleep, the potential is to have your hip replaced and then 20 years or 30 years from now to replace just the plastic or just the ball in plastic with continued good results.